Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, top 15 things to do when you're getting a new gaming laptop, right? So number 15, remove programs that are not needed. When you're purchasing a new machine and you start it up, you're going to see a lot of programs that you really don't need, such as McAfee. Uh, you have a free trial base of Office. Uh, and then depending on what company you purchase the laptop from, that company for example Dell or Lenovo has their own pre-built stuff in it you don't want that stuff so remove it number 14 disable OneDrive now if you upgrade your machine to the latest Windows 10 credit update OneDrive is now available within the remove and program section so you could uninstall it you don't need it it's one less thing that you don't need Number 13, remove Microsoft apps. Now, there's a lot of apps within the start menu that you really don't need. Uh, it really depends up to you. For me, I like to remove Twitter, uh, Candy Crush, uh, OneDrive, uh, OneNote. Those are the apps that I don't really need. Just remove it from the start menu, right? Top number 12 is configure the start menu. Basically mean uh, start removing a lot of junk that you don't need within the start menu. You know, a lot of stuff is already attached there. Remove it, customize it, shrink it down, make it feel comfortable for your environment. Top number 11, clean up the taskbar. By default, the taskbar has Cortana. Uh, it has the Microsoft app. I like to remove the Microsoft app and just minimize Cortana small, or you could just hide it. It's really up to you. And top number 10, upgrade your graphics card now it really depends on what kind of machine you have probably you have a laptop that is running an AMD graphics card or Intel integrated graphics card or Nvidia make sure you go to the site and upgrade the graphics driver very important if you want everything to run smoothly with your gaming make sure that your graphics drivers are up to par don't get me wrong Windows 10 which comes with a lot of these gaming laptops by default upgrades the graphics drivers for you but I would like to do that manually give me that power number nine on the list is upgrade your PC Windows updates this is very very important all right guys uh, make sure that you push out all the updates on that machine again uh, if you got a new machine uh, that new machine probably wherever you purchase it like Best Buy or wherever they don't really keep those machines up to date. So when you get home and you got your machine on your Wi-Fi, make sure you push out all those Windows updates. Number eight, change Windows update schedule. This is really a huge thing, especially if you're a gamer. You don't want to play video games at night and all of a sudden your machine is rebooting because of an update. Uh, again, if you upgraded your machine to the latest Windows updates, you have it fully patched and you probably have the option within the update section to change the active hours. So change those active hours. Okay, so you're, when you're playing games late at night, it doesn't reboot, right? Number seven, update Windows Defender and scan your computer. Make sure that your machine is protected. Uh, even though Windows updates Windows Defender by default, just open up Windows Defender within the settings app and check that you got the latest definition. Push it manually, do it, do a scan. All right. Top number six is disable startup services. Uh, by default, your machine is going to start a huge amount of services that you don't really need. Uh, best thing with Windows 10, it kind of gives you a breakdown of what's low, medium, and high when you're starting up services. Just take a look of your high services that are starting up during your boot time and just disable it if you don't need it. Number five, download your favorite browser. Again, Windows 10 gives you Microsoft Internet Explorer, but the default browser is Edge. If you don't like using that, like myself, I don't like using those browsers at all. I will download my favorite one, which is Google Chrome, because Google keeps Chrome nice updated, so I don't have to worry about it, which is a plus. A lot of you might have to download Firefox. It's really up to you, but download your favorite browser to make that laptop comfortable for you. Number four, start installing all your games. Uh, a lot of the laptops nowadays come with two partitions. Your C drive is your primary operating system partition, and you have a D drive, which is your raw storage. You have to debate where you want your installation to be held. Either C drive, if you have a C drive and a solid state drive, most likely you want to take advantage of that read and output read speed on that C drive. You install your games on the C drive. If you don't worry about the read and write speed, install it on the D drive. Save more space. 
Number three, enable system protection. This is very important, uh, and I kind of recommend that you enable it on your C drive because if something happens, like if you upgrade a, a particular game or software and a particular file gets corrupted, you're always able to revert back using shadow copies. Very important. Top number two is run performance tests on your machine. Once you have all your applications, everything is up to great, run a performance test. You could download 3D Mark or any particular kind of performance test application that you like to use. Run performance tests, run battery tests, memory tests, graphics cards tests. Run as much testing that you could do on your new machine that when you're using it like really heavy, you shouldn't have any problem. You know the capacity of what the machine could go up to. Number one in my list is back up your system. This is the most important thing that you need to do. Once you have your machine fully up to date with all the software that you need, with all the gaming software that you need, make sure you back up your system. I showed you guys how to create a system image backup within the Windows. Follow that video. Grab that copy, put it inside a flash drive, put it in an external hard drive, make three copies of it, give it to your family members or a friend and have one inside your house. So if something happens to your machine, you can recover it with no problem. So number one is the thing to do. And that's it guys for my top 15 things to do when you get a new gaming laptop. I know there's more to add to the list and if you have more to add to the list, leave it at the bottom of the video. Don't forget about hitting that like button and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.